welcome to healthcare analytics in this video we will see how to print a value of a variable when the in separate pages for example we have a data set called sasf.cars in the sasf library you may we have a data set sasf.cars in the library and you in that data set we, we can see we have different values for make the make value bmw audi and so on and you want to print each audience of one page bmw in a separate page cadillac in a different page so on so when the value of make the variable make changes you want to print it in different separate pages and how do we do that is what we would like to see it should be something like this acura in one page audi in a separate page bmw in another page and so on and you also want a title and whenever the value changes you want the title also to change here it's bmw on the other hand here it's if you go up it's audi the header also shows audi so this is what we want and let's see how we can do that here let's in the program these options have already discussed in other videos please do watch them if you haven't already and i'm selecting just a few cars otherwise there are a lot many cars in the, in the value a lot of value different types of makes of car in the variable make and i'm using just four here make variable has many cars in the sasf.cars data set and using just four as an example here and you can see that i'm using make as order i'm passing order option in the make variable and when the i'm also giving by make so i'm giving by make whenever i'm giving by make i can also pass the value of the by variable in the title i'm writing the title statement as you have seen here i'm giving the title statement make, giving make as a title and the value of make for that particular page for this particular page here the value is audi on the other hand for this particular page the value of make is acura on the title as well so the title also changes with the value of make in the page so here i am giving passing hash by val so whatever variable i am passing in the by statement that particular value will be passed in the title know that whenever you are writing hash by val make sure you also write no byline statement no byline means don't add a, a extra header for example if i just remove this no make it byline instead of no byline and run this program you will see i get a two headers so let me run it and show you so i get two headers here make acura this is something that i get from the first header is what i get by the title statement and the next one i get by the byline statement so the byline statement also produce automatically header this byline statement so i want to make it no byline because i just want one header it doesn't look good to have two headers indicating the same thing make acura make acura, equal to acura we don't want it to be repeated twice so i make it no byline so i hope it becomes clear why we are using no byline statement here these options have all i mean the missing option has already been discussed earlier in the video so do watch it if you haven't already it means that whenever the value of a variable is like a numeric variable it has a dot you just do not represent it as a dot in the output you want to have a missing space empty space in the final rtf output so this is how we can using a by val statement hash by val is called hash by val statement and hash by val and by variable the same variable your value you are passing in the title we can create a report with headers indicating the value of the variable that changes with each page here it is make is changing for each page similarly this is one way of doing it now there is one more way of doing the same thing in a different way we can let's see how to do that as well for that first you have to write the proc format you are you are creating character to character conversion acura to acura it's the same thing you're writing the same thing but you and you are creating a format name called car dollar car and this particular format 
everything else remains the same the rest of the options you, you just you, know, you don't want this as well you remove this hash by well because we are seeing a different way of doing it but rest of the aspects of the proc report will remain the same the define statement the column statement we don't have a by statement here that's one difference in the previous example one previous method we have a by statement and we have a hash by val in the title we remove both of them we don't have it in the second approach we don't have a by statement we don't have a hash by val you may notice and we will write a compute block compute before underscore page underscore we have already discussed what is compute before underscore page underscore in a different video when we discussed about how to generate titles using this statement compute block and using how to generate titles and footnotes using compute block and here we will see how to create a title that changes that is dynamic and changes with the value of the variable make variable here for in this example so i am writing a line statement so before means you want to put it before the page on the top of the page and you are writing a line statement and the line statement you are giving a string make within quotation and after make you are passing the variable and its value to be formatted as dollar car so car is the format name that you are passing so the variable is make and this values should be formatted in this as you have given in the prop format the format name is car so you are passing the format name car and this is an underline after the variable so after the header you are putting in the underline brdrb this is a command rtf command brdrb rd brdrs is a rtf command you are writing a rtf command after that let's see how the result looks like so when we run it we will see please note that i have removed the brdrb BR, the rtf command from the line statement this is not needed here and let's run it and see so using this approach also i am able to generate a title and for each page as the value of the make changes so let's go to the next page here the make is audi and the value is audi so it's you are get, getting the corresponding value as well so this is what we need and if you like you can also add some some styles here just let me add some styles style you could given some additional styles just to change the appearance and let's see how it looks like so now we have it's in blue color and again you have all the values for Acura and again next for Audi BMW and so on so I hope this video helped you learn how to create a report with values of a variable when the changing the page is changing when the value changes if you like the video please like it and subscribe it and if you have any questions please drop it in the comment box thank you